Okay, today we're working on scoring from our underhook. We'll review real quick, get into our underhook. First way we talked about was just grabbing the wrist inside out. This is normally how people grab it. Looking at grabbing with my fingers inside, I can push this back, get right into my underhook. Now, important thing when I got a hook is, first off, I gotta control the off arm, either at the wrist or pushing it back with the elbow. If I can stop him from scoring, second thing is my foot, I gotta be stepping in here into the danger zone with my knee inside, okay? Those are my positions of control here. Just a little review from earlier, but now we're going scores. First score then is gonna be a near duck. A lot of times if I underhook, Jordan's gonna circle. As he circles, I'm gonna step outside, throw my elbow, head back, and get to my duck under. Okay, I can come smash, get my hook right away. If it's open, I can come right here, slap my head, stay tight, and hit that near duck. Okay, what's key on the duck under is on all of them. My level will change, but my head's gonna shoot up, up, back, attacking his hips, coming here, looking to get my throw, or he'll bail out and we'll get one. Okay? Next is a far duck. So this is my near side here, far side over here. If I got his wrist, okay, he might circle out front, I can duck. Right here, and anytime I duck, I'm going to step across the body then, like a double legs, or like a high crotch. So I'm here, I can have wrist, I can bump a little bit, my hip becomes in front, duck, step across. I can also do this if Jordan has control of my wrist, I get into the underhook, he beats me here, I do this motion, that's still opening up, I just do a step, bam, step across. And then finish with my lift. So there you got near duck, this side, throwing your elbow up, and you got far duck over here. For your scores. Okay, next two scores could be a little hip toss and then just a pinch headlock or watch your lock. Okay, for my hip toss, and I'm here, got my hook. Okay, I like to when we talk about moving a guy is I pull on his lats. So right here I got his hips loaded. Right now, it's just like my back step. Make sure you watch my feet here. I'm just gonna step, step. Just like we were against the wall. Step, step, hit. And I had to get my three points there. Okay, I'll do it for real this time. I'm here. I'm bailing. I got this on his back. I pull him, bam, step. There's my hip toss. Now it's just me running, clicking this arm like a seat belt. Okay, bam, pulse, get your points. Okay, one more time with the hip toss from this angle. And here I pull, step, back step. See my hips are through, run, 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 post. Hey, last one, pinch headlock. Real successful move. So that I get my underhook, I'm coming here, locking my hands. Okay, if you look up top here, I'm reading this watch on my underhook hand. Now it's important that I pinch him into me, okay? There's two ways I can go. I can come here, bam, hit my headlock this way. I can go the other way with it. It's more of a pinch and a sag. I'm here, I can pinch it. Turn, turn, turn. Bring it down. On that one there, taking Jordan's head and pinching him in between my chest. And here, pull his head, pinch it into my chest. Now I'm turning this way. Nice and slow. Down. So you got near side duck, we got far side duck, we worked a little back step to our hip toss, and then lastly, our underhook, we're just doing a little pinch headlock. I can come from here and throw it, or pinch, 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 sag down to the ground. And that's our underhook series.